welcome in a new session of your course. Till now we have talked about research ethics, research misconduct. We have talked about the concept of plagiarism, what comes under plagiarism, what is not plagiarism. But if you see the literature, you will find that plagiarism is such a vast thing that it can happen in many ways. So in present discussion, I am going to discuss with you the types of plagiarism. But with a precaution that there is no universal classification of plagiarism. Many practitioners, many websites and few plagiarism detection tools have identified certain commonalities among different types of plagiarism and they suggested their forms. You may find that somewhere there are five types of plagiarism and you may also find at some places that there are 12 forms of plagiarism. So the, what are the most common types of plagiarism? Let us start with that. Generally the plagiarism is classified into four categories which is called direct plagiarism, self plagiarism, mosaic plagiarism and accidental plagiarism. What is direct plagiarism? Direct plagiarism means word for word transcription of a section of someone else's work without attribution or without quotation mark. You have taken something from somewhere directly without giving a proper attribution to the original writer. Self plagiarism is very common where one submit his or her own previous work or mix the part of few previous works and create a new work without permission from all who were involved or without giving a proper citation to the old work. Mosaic plagiarism. It occurs when researcher borrows phrases from a source without using quotation marks or finds synonyms for the author's language while keeping it in the same general structure and meaning to the original. Sometimes it is also known as patch working or patch writing. Accidental plagiarism occurs when a person neglects to cite their sources or misquote their sources or unintentionally paraphrases a source by using similar words, group of words and sentence structure without proper attribution. Let us see another very common classification. There is one classification suggested by Raimo who suggested there are five types of plagiarism. Global plagiarism, verbatim plagiarism, paraphrasing plagiarism, patchwork plagiarism and self plagiarism. You will find the similarities also in different classifications and please keep those similarities in your mind. So when we talk about global plagiarism, we are talking about a kind of plagiarism where a person or a researcher has taken entire text from someone else and placed in his or her paper as its own. What is verbatim? Not the whole text, but copying some portions directly from someone else's work and not quoting or giving any attribution to it. Paraphrasing, taking someone else's idea or a paragraph, writing it in your own words, but not giving the attribution or citation to the original thinker. So it is called rephrasing someone else's work or idea without proper citation. Patchwork plagiarism, plagiarizing part of different sources and putting them together or stitching them together into a new work. So a researcher may study 10-15 papers, take one one paragraph from each paper and create a new paper by putting those paragraphs into a logical sequence but not quoting or citing that, that is called patchworking. Self plagiarism as I told you in the previous classification also that representing or recycling your own previous work which has already been published but you are taking its some part into a new publication and you nowhere representing or quoting that it is a part of your old published work. Let us move towards some modern classification of plagiarism. A very famous uh, plagiarism checking website is Turnitin. We will talk about it when we will talk about plagiarism checking softwares. So in 
turn it in when they do a lot of plagiarism checks they published a white paper and an spectrum which is called plagiarism spectrum by turn it in so in that they have discussed about 10 types of plagiarism that is clone control c find replace remix recycle hybrid mashup 404 error aggregator and retweet recently they have revised it and now they are talking about 12 types of plagiarism i will come to that also but let us try to discuss what these 10 types are so first is the clone clone means identical copying a person is copying someone else work word by word without any change and claiming as his or her own work no citation no attribution is given to the original author that is called cloning control c taking a significant portion of the text from any single source without any alteration while writing a document it is called control c kind of plagiarism here also no citation or attribution is being given to the original author find and replace it is another very common type of plagiarism where a researcher or a writer took a significant portion of someone else work or from some any other document and just identify some common keywords and phrases and replace those with their synonyms or some other words so it is just finding and replacing some keywords from a whole work that is called find and replace type of plagiarism what is remixing remixing means collecting the information from various sources maybe from 10 15 20 research papers and mix it all together to make it as a single document and claim it that it is your own work and you never cite from where you have taken these portions next is recycle recycle is also known as self plagiarism this refers to the act of borrowing from one's own previous document without a proper citation so you may have published a paper in 2010 then after 12 years in 2022 you are going to publish another paper on the same topic but you are taking a significant portion from your previous paper but you are not quoting it this means that once something has been published or in public domain you cannot take it as it is in your next publication this is a research misconduct and such type of plagiarism is also known as self plagiarism or recycling hybrid in hybrid type of plagiarism perfectly cited documents are copied and arranged as a new document without proper citation whereas in mashup a writer take a lot of things from different sources and some he or she write on his own then he mix the portions or the sections taken from other papers with his or her own writing without any proper citation and make it kind of a mashup so that's why such plagiarism is known as mashup plagiarism next is 404 error 404 error means a person creates a document by copying from various sources and prepare as a single document with the citation with the citation but the citation is not true they quote some research papers with fake author's name with fake journal's name with fake issue and volume name and you will never find any such paper or any such author or if author is there he may have published in a, on a different topic but the researcher is reporting it on a different topic so if the citation is inaccurate and it is leading to non existing resources then this is known as 404 error what is aggregator sometimes a researcher prepares a document with proper citation but it is only based on the cited work nothing is original in the paper not even a single paragraph the author writes on his or her own 
everything has been taken from one place or another place then such plagiarism is known as aggregator the tenth one in the turnitin classification is retweet retweet means that if all the written documents seem perfect with properly cited mark but still the document resembles somewhere the original text structure or wording then it is called retweet the plagiarism means you are reproposing or reforming the same thing different times another software which checks plagiarism is authenticate and authenticate talked about 10 types of plagiarism one is secondary source so secondary source plagiarism happens when a researcher uses a secondary source like a metadata but only cites the primary source so the data has been taken from a secondary source for example someone is talking about the census report 2011 the data is from 